right. So something that went viral um, these past couple weeks was Angel Reese, right? Mm -hmm. So she is a WNBA player, um, and she says that that doesn't pay the bills. She Sorry. says that she keeps... Um, she was on her actually she was on her IG live the other day when she admitted her WNBA salary doesn't even cover any of her bills. Mm. It actually she admits mm. that <laughs> she's mm. she's living beyond her means, right? So right. she quickly did her math. She okay. said that her rent is 96k a year, but she only gets paid like little less than or a little more than 73k a year. Wow. Wow. Um well, so you know, I I just have what do you guys, what are your thoughts on it? Angel Reese ain't going to no 99 cent store. Angel Reese, stop <laughs> playing here. Seriously, <laughs> seriously. How is she paying her bills? Well, she, she's, got, she's got endorsements, yes, right? Yes, she's Listen, got endorsements. I'm going to say this, and there's no shade to the right. WNBA because they can cross me up and take me out anytime. Right, exactly. But my thing, if you can't dug it like LeBron, I'm not <laughs> as interested. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. has nothing to do with what you do. I'm just saying. It just, for me, the brand is a little different. And it's so funny yes. because we're on the opposite sides of the I, spectrum. I knew you were going to say that. I Love the WNBA. Like, Shout out yeah, all you, the women in the, in the NBA. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, I, yeah. Go ahead. The problem is you love the, the WNBA, but they just need a, a better marketing team. Or, Absolutely. Or marketing okay. arm. Mm -hmm. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So it's like one thing about the NBA is really big on storylines, mm -hmm. right? Since Bird yeah. and Magic, Michael Jordan, the Pistons, you know, yeah. it's, it's entertainment. It's not just basketball. So Absolutely. the WNBA – um, needs to have more storylines, more, uh, you know, marketable storylines. I completely but, agree with you. Right. And I think the reason, the, the storyline before, not to cut you off, Missy, but they had a good storyline with Angel Reese, mm -hmm. Caitlin Clark this year. Yeah, and that's, that's why we're crazy. Yes. And that's exactly what I was going to say, that they're bringing it this year. I mean, those, yes. the rivalry between the, time. the two girls, right. this is the they're first putting time. so many eyes yes. on this sport. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So maybe I think, you know, some girls are going to get some some advice from them and be like hmm i got i got a they question. came up doing that maybe maybe me and someone else should should do something this, like that i got a question yes. for monique mm -hmm. uh, are you a caitlin clark fan <laughs> hey. Look, i'm gonna be honest with y'all okay okay be honest <laughs> i like sports okay but i'm not really You're not big into it I'm not really that's okay. Into it. that's okay. 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 Oh, that's okay. Okay, that's fine. But I'm gonna say yes because she's she's a woman. So, okay, yes. there you go. I like I like I like her approach. I like her approach. She said I Let's like go sports. With it. Let's go with it. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about you, Caitlin Clark? I think she's a amazing talent. I just think that um, you know, she got the red carpet rolled out before she even started playing, and it's it's almost like they did with LeBron, et cetera, et cetera. So, sure. Okay. She's a new model mm -hmm. for the WNBA, a new experiment. Mm -hmm. um, she's definitely talented, but, you know, she has a lot of marketable appeal that they're trying to figure out how to grow. So it's like she's really talented, but I'm in interested to see how they use her to market the league, you know. So, they, so, that's what they're, that's so what they're doing. Good some, point. Something that just came out, um, Shaquille O'Neal was – he was talking with Angel Reese and he goes, well, you guys would get more play and, and people would, would pay attention to you more if you lowered Lord the ramp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, right? I, yeah. <laughs> Do we think they should? I don't, I don't, I don't agree with, no, I don't agree with none of that. No, no. That's not nice. keep that thing 10 <laughs> feet. You know, because you know what? Steph Curry is one of the most marketable basketball players of all time. He don't dunk. Right. right. That's true. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Alan sure. Iverson is one of the most marketable players of all time. He, yep. he didn't mm -hmm. dunk. I just think it's just a storyline yeah. and the, and the s superstars needs to be marketed. I like about branding and yeah. marketing. I like yeah, that. Absolutely. The personalities, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I like that. I like no. that. If you you're in PR, yeah, Monique, if you if either of these ladies were your clients, you know, what would your plan be to help market them? To help market them, definitely just creating more content. Mm -hmm. Content is key, I feel okay. like, you know, so just right. Putting together small clips and different, um, you know, different material put out there just to show more of their personality and you know create a story, you right? Know, just like like how you know, like you said, Michael Jordan and um, all these other amazing players who I feel like have the backing and the branding. So it's about just creating a story. And I feel yeah. like that's what Angel's doing, right? Because mm -hmm. she has her show. I yeah, feel she's like on she's her way. yeah, she's on her way. I mean, because she keeps going viral she stays going viral yeah absolutely yeah. i keep seeing that, her all over my time mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's key but exactly. i think um you know to add to what monique said is you know we need drama we yeah, need that's drama true. Yes. so the I mean, the turning point for the nba i don't know if, if anybody knows this but okay. the turning point for the nba being a global marketable brand is michael jordan right yeah okay. facts <clears throat> but it's not because it's basketball basketball play 
Michael right. Jordan's tennis shoes were banned. His first pair of shoes were banned. Mm-hmm. They sure were. Mm-hmm. Right. So Nike ran a big marketing campaign about the banned shoes. Mm-hmm. The storyline. The storyline. The storyline. Yeah. Story yeah. Talk your talk. You know, so Nike was like, you know what? We'll pay for the fine for you to wear these shoes. This is true. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know what I mean? So Nike paid for his fines because it, 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 his yeah. shoes could didn't have fit. red in it or something like that. It had that. different colors mm-hmm. and no yep. other player had different colors in their shoes. So Nike paid for the fines and made a big story about it. And it became interesting. Like, what are these shoes about? Yeah. What is it? Who? Okay, who is the guy wearing mm-hmm. these band shoes? Yep. Yep. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And that's what started the marketing frenzy of Michael that's Jordan. It. That's you, it. You know, we we'll all yeah. agree with Monique. I'm not a sports girly either. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you know what brings me to the sports? The drama. The drama always brings me. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Every time, it always brings me. So, so like. True. Yes. We're all on the same page here. We yes. just need drama. more drama. Needs That's drama. Right. That's right. Drama sales. Yeah. Drama sales. So Fortunately and unfortunately. Give me a reason to watch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and to keep coming back and, and checking in on it, back. right? Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs>